Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, this is a Snapback Hats Bolo category video. So I'm gonna share with you some listings that I found of high dollar Snapback Hats to be on the lookout for. But before I get started, I want to share with you a YouTuber who hasn't been posting much lately, but his information on hats is so helpful. He's like my go-to for hats. Um, it is Trinox Connection, and he's at 763 subscribers. So if you guys can show him some love and give him a sub, I would greatly appreciate it. Go over there and tell him Bolo Buddy sent you. But right here, this is the video I want to direct you to. Trucker Hat Restoration, Foam Deterioration Removal. So he takes the hat, removes the foam, and, well, I'll just let you watch the video to see how he restores these hats. It's a super cool video and um, you guys should definitely all go check it out um, because a lot of people will buy these hats with the foam deteriorating. I just sell them with the foam deteriorating and somebody else can restore the hat. Um, actually, Chris has actually bought hats from me because I'm too lazy to mess with them and he fixes them up and resells them, which I'm fine with that. Sometimes I'll be at a garage sale and I'll be like, hey, you want me to pick these hats up for you? And he'll be like, yeah. And then I'll put them so, like, I think the last batch I put on grailed and then he bought them from me there. But yeah, you guys definitely go sub to him. He hasn't posted for like three months, um, but he uh, really, really knows his hats. So check him out. And we are going to start with the first Bolo item. And in the comments, I want you guys to tell me what you look for when you are looking for hats. What kind of hats are you looking for? So, of course, a good thing to look for is vintage. Another good thing to look for, um, let's talk about brands. Uh, K products. And you guys, I am by no means a hat expert, but I have sold some snapbacks for some big money. I've been lucky and found a few. And my first message usually goes to Trinox Connection. And I'm like, hey, what do you think of this hat? Should I buy it? And he gives me some guidance. But um, I haven't messaged him lately. I haven't found any hats lately. So I hope he's doing well. And you guys definitely check him out. All right, so this hat has the three stripes on the side, so that's always a plus. Um, and if you take a photo, I recommend that you display it on some sort of form to show the hat completely. And if it has stripes, I recommend that you kind of turn the hat so that those stripes are in the photo, kind of like this one. Now this is a brown transport corp, and it doesn't look like it's a patch. Um, it might. Well, maybe it is. It's kind of raised. I don't know. But it's definitely an in, in, uh, interesting hat, for sure. And it's made in the USA, but I'm not seeing an actual brand. You can see the foam is deteriorating. So that foam will start to come out of that hat, and it will make a huge mess. But people will still pay up for them, even if they're in bad condition. This sold for $171.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And I will tell you that so many hats get thrown away when they get to that point because people don't know that they still have value. So, um, I, I mean, I went to an estate sale once and they were just thrown in a box for free because people thought they were just trash because um, they were deteriorating. The next item is this Pepsi hat. So Pepsi, Coke, some of those can go for big money. They are hit and miss. So you definitely want to look the items up. And again, you can see the foam is completely where it's red. That foam is gone. Um, this one is K Products, K brand. Um, and it sold for $299.99. So this one was an auction style item. And it looked like the buyer didn't pay and they relisted the item. So this was the sold price after they relisted it. The next item is another Pepsi Cola. This one has the stripes on the side. Um, it is made in the USA, but only three photos. I recommend more than three photos, but um, they still got $257 for this. This is a John Deere hat. And again, do you guys, are you noticing something? 
The ones that are going for big bucks have the three stripes. Uh, this one made in the USA. This one is a youth. So I, I don't know. I would think youth sizes would be, um, and the foam's still good here, harder to sell. But this sold for $760. So let's dig into this one. The person that won had 1,148 feedback. There were 28 unique bidders. That means 28 different people bid on an, this item for a total of 67 times. Now, if you want to dig a little deeper, you can go into the first person's feedback and you can type, we'll just type in youth. And you guys, looky here. This was a good sale. They left positive feedback. It sold for $760. There you have it. That is a legit sale. So that's one way you can check. Now, is it foolproof? No, because everybody doesn't leave feedback. A lot of times with these collectible items, people will not leave feedback because they don't want like a trail. So um, yeah, there you go. Pretty cool. Pretty cool when they leave feedback. Now, this vintage 1993 snapback Marvel Comics, um, $510. So this would be another one where we could go in and we could dig a little deeper and see if we can find out. The winner had 79 feedback, only five bidders on this one. So five people really wanted this item. We're going to go into the feedback and we're going to type in Marvel. And I'm only going to do it on these two. Um, Looks like they sell a lot of Marvel items. And I am not seeing it on this first page. Let's try that. No, no feedback on that hat. So I don't know if it got paid for it or not. Now, if you want to dig deeper, you can go into view items for sale and you can type in Marvel hat. And um, now, is this the same hat, but they have it in a case? That's kind of what it looks like, right? So what they have done is they have bought a hat case and it's now sitting in the hat case. Um, and it currently is up for auction and has 19 bids and it is at $335. So I don't know. It's definitely a hat that's getting attention, but nobody wants to pay for it after they bid on it. Um, but maybe this buyer will pay. But still, it's something to be on the lookout for sure. The next item that sold is this member in Fisherman. And it is a snapback hat. It has the mesh back. Um, so this yellow part is mesh. And this is a K Products again. So K Products is definitely typically a bolo. Um, a lot of the value depends on what is on the front. And you can see it's deteriorating, just a mess. And again, if you go over to Trinox Connection, you can see how he fixes the hats. Um, but this one sold for $195.50. The next item is this Team Gray Boy Kawasaki. And this says shipping to Malaysia and Thailand, $14.99 for one item, $10 each additional item. Now, the reason this seller has that is because they are People in Malaysia and Thailand order these hats all the time with the racing stripes, like they are all over them. They are, they collect them and those countries, these items are very sought after. So they're just offering a shipping discount to those countries, apparently. Um, I've never seen anybody do that, but um, I don't know what their general rule of thumb is for their other listings. Um, you can go to shipping and payments and kind of see what exactly they write. But uh, this sold for $127.50 plus shipping. The next item is this John Deere hat and it's this denim look. It is the same seller. This one sold for $212.50 with 56 bids. So one thing I like to do when I see a seller that is selling a lot of things, this they're happy hatters, happy hatter. I go to see other items and I am going to look at, um, well, you can look at their auctions, but you can also go into their sold listings and go to highest first. And we could do a whole video just on their solds. So um, just to give you an idea of some of the items that are going for big money. 
So this person sources hats and that's the majority of what they sell. So they know hats. Um, but just to give you an idea, they're getting lots with the three stripes. And you may see some of these again because they have a lot of high solds. So there's just some to look for. Now, again, not all John Deere green are going to be big money. So um, you definitely have to do your homework. Don't overpay, I guess, is my point. Make sure you know that it's a bolo if you're going to pay up for the item. Okay, so let's keep going through my list here. The next item is this Chicago Bulls hat. It's a rare Chicago Bulls truckers baseball cap, snapback hat, Michael Jordan. It sold for $230.50 plus shipping. The next item is this Virginia. And this one has the stripes on the side. So this maybe turned a little bit more showing the front, the graphic on the front, but really you can't see the stripes on this one. Um, it sold for $92. And they did put three stripe in the title. So I'm sure that helped. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Lawson hat. And I learned from Tim over the years YouTube channel. So definitely go give over the years a sub, show him some love with the sub. And he said that a key word for this pattern is called scrambled eggs. Um, I had a hat listed and I put gold leaf, but apparently scrambled eggs is a key term that maybe hat collectors look for. I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure it was over the years. But even if it wasn't over the years, you definitely want to go sub to him because he knows glass. You talk about somebody who understands and knows how to find glass. He is amazing. So, um, and it's his mom and his, I think they just got engaged. So his fiance, and they are a team of um, bolo finders. All right. The next item that sold is this New York Knicks logo athletic shark tooth snapback hat. This sold for $275 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage international harvester two stripe. So this one only has two stripes. So I don't know if two stripes and three stripes makes a difference. If anybody knows, let me know in the comment. And this is a swingster mesh snapback hat sold for $137 and 50 cents in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Ford tractor snapback trucker hat, and this sold for $201.50 plus shipping. So make sure you're looking at the patches because again, the patches are important. The stripes on the side, the brand made in the USA. Um, you want them to be vintage. That's when they're going to go for more. And this one is a Ford New Holland snapback trucker hat with the patch on the front and it sold for $127.50. The next item is this Campbell's Soup Snapback Hat, and it's got the racer stripes on the side, and this sold for $202.50. That one's kind of funny. The next item is this Goodyear hat. It's a rare hipster trucker hat, baseball cap, Goodyear patch, and it's got the stripes on the side also. This one sold for $137.50 plus shipping. The next item is this steel or style. I'm not sure how to say it, but um, it sold for $92. It's a trucker hat. It's a farmer, you know, um, chainsaw hat. And yeah, buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Richard Petty uh, racer hat. And it's got the bill that has the, it's trimmed, does have a stain there. And it's got the stripes. So definitely the stripes are good on this one. And this sold for $520 plus shipping. The next item is this Levi's hat. Um, the snapback hats that are Levi's that are vintage are definitely a bolo and something you want to look for. This one sold for $415 and the buyer paid shipping. And I have seen many, many bolo Levi's hats. So definitely. The next item, another one is Ralph Lauren Polo. There is a big following for Ralph Lauren items. So definitely be on the lookout. This one is new old stock vintage and it sold for $162.50 plus shipping. This Marlboro advertising hat, it is vintage as well. And this one went for $80 and the buyer paid shipping. 
The next item is this Garst Seed Snapback Hat. So it is a farmer hat. It's got um, the corn on the front and it's got a cool patch. It's great colors. It's got the denim and then the orange mesh. So really cool. K products made in the USA sold for $125.50. The next one is this Mountain Dew K brand hat and it's got the mesh back and this one sold for $103.70. Here is K, K brand made in the USA. That's what it looks like. All right, you guys, again, please go over and check out Trinox Connection. And thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. This is a Bolo category video. I have a whole bunch of these. I have made in Japan. I have new old stock. I have as seen on TV, Christmas, bathroom bolos, kitchen bolos, found it in the garage bolos, um, toddler dresses. I have so many Bolo category videos. Build a bear toys. Um, I break it down into categories. I research it for you. I bring you the highlights and try to help you guys learn what to look for. Um, that is one of the series on my channel. So I do have a playlist that you can go to that says bolos by category or something like that, but um, just a bunch of videos. So definitely go check that out. And as always, thanks for watching.